Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Jamie. I'm here bringing a lovely cook with me. I am making a meatloaf. For the first time I might add, but it looks delicious. Don't get me wrong. You're gonna love all the ingredients I use with it. So I'm making this meatloaf with gluten-free breadcrumbs. And on the side I'm having bacon wrapped asparagus along with homemade mashed potatoes and it's going to be delicious After laying out all the ingredients, I preheated the oven to 350 and then began. First, what you're going to want to do is spray the pan. It's a bread pan. That's what the meatloaf is going to cook in. And then um, right here, I have these farm fresh eggs and I was checking to see if they were still fresh. And to do that, all you have to do is get a glass of water drop an egg in gently and if it sinks to the bottom it's still fresh and they were really still fresh I don't know if there's any other single moms out there watching YouTube videos on cooking or just trying to stay connected with YouTube by watching other people's lives but I wanted to share my life and how I'm cooking and um, having a five-year-old <laughs> is uh, quite the task. I also have a chocolate lab who is not even two years old yet and a new kitten. So I have my hands full I must say. So recording and trying to do dinners and everything is very time consuming for me so I put a lot of effort into this. I hope you do like it. The ingredients in the meatloaf, I did two eggs, a bunch of the breadcrumbs, some Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, onion powder, and that Italian seasoning. Um, I don't suggest doing two eggs if you only have one pound of meat though.
something, get it right. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live in life. Be sure to have your water boiling, add a little salt to it, and then I am going to chop up the potatoes to little sizes so they cook faster and boil them for 20 minutes. I used this thing for one because I didn't want to cry <laughs> so I tried my best to use it it's not the best but it's probably how I didn't chop it up first and then do it but it's so like mesmerizing to watch it and then I put it in slow motion so you can just watch it work <laughs> I left this clip in here like that because just watch the garbage can just magically open. I don't know if it was eggshells on the way or what, but it was doing that a few times and it was freaking me out.
everything's fine Wouldn't expect any more from this The situation's in line With every story that I heard of the burning blaze. To make the gravy you want to use cornstarch in cold water and beef stock or beef broth and pour it in and just let it thicken up. For the mashed potatoes, all I did was um, crush them up with a fork, add some sour cream, butter, garlic, salt, and pepper. Was it something that I did? Was it something that I couldn't quite handle right? An invitation to a thrill? A growing comfort that somehow it would be alright? And I wait, trying to. Thank you all for watching this video. I really truly enjoyed making a video of what I was cooking for dinner for you. I am trying to make more in the future. So please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram at j.hens. I'm also doing live streams on Twitch. Enjoy.